um, on the project right now. And you'll see it as we walk through. We're done with structure. Uh, we're starting to put together a lot of interior uh, framing. And so there's a lot. Of Since three major elevations are precast, and then the uh, uh, primary elevations that face the capital are uh, stone, and that's made up of a combination of Casota stone, which is uh, mined in Mankato, and uh, Cold Spring granite, which um, is mined in uh, or quarried in uh, Cold Spring, Minnesota. By the first part of May, you start to see some of the precast go on the west side. In fact, our first precast panel was cast uh, yesterday, um, so that's a, that's a good event for us to start the um, installation or the, the fabrication of that critical element. And we'll have windows going on um, through uh, middle to end of May, all the way through uh, July. So that's why, um, although we have a stairwell that will get you fine up to the first level, we've got an elevator right at the entry. And um, this also gives a connection um, to the green space outside and kind of uh, brings the outside in a little bit and makes this space you know, feel a little bit bigger even though it's um, quite modest in size. Um, you know, nice and high in elevation. Get ourselves out of here. That's kind of what you see the front here, but the connection of this link will take the pedestrians right out to the University Avenue to be connection. So here again, you have the connection between the existing tunnel to the Capitol, uh, just kind of up that ramp. There's also a uh, elevator and a stairway there as well. That was another piece of you know, operational efficiency and also low maintenance. If you have LED lighting, um, you rarely have to change a light bulb, plus the energy efficiency um, is, is profound. And that helps us meet the B3 goals for the project. It's LED throughout the whole building? LED throughout the whole building. It's gonna fluctuate, you know, depends on the activity, the trades we're doing at the moment, but currently for what we're doing, we're running about 200 guys a day. These walls, you can see, um, are fully insulated, and there's also another channel that uh, provides the acoustical uh, wall separation um, that's required for us. Robotics uh, total station for doing laying out doors, the rooms, the walls. That tarp is meant to stay up as long as possible. So what we're doing, we're kind of finishing the building from the inside out. So as you see these walls, they stop short of the window wall. So until the precast is set, the remainder of that wall can have, you know, abut to it. So we'll be able to finish the inside core, and then as our precast is set in our glass windows, then our walls will chase it back out to the outside exterior. stages of running our, uh, you know, first thing we do is get our studs up and get our, our top uh, sheet rock on. Then we come back and we put a lot of our ebony in the ceiling. And the reason for that is uh, a lot of our electrical, they run so close to the walls. If we don't put the top portion of the sheet rock on first, we just physically can't get up there later on. At the far end of the jib, uh, these cranes will handle what, what we have them set up for is about uh, 30,000 pounds. So they were kind of designed to handle the heavy pieces of precast that go around the perimeter of the building. 